bit of a different day today. Very cloudy. Temperature's all right though, to be fair, very cloudy. There's a, just check the weather forecast, it says there's a 70% chance of rain today, so uh, won't be surprised if we're gonna get wet. Today, I am off to a different sector where I could draw either section C or section D. What are you doing everyone? We're up out the peg now, we've just fished. Um, couldn't really get you on your updates, <coughs> updates earlier on in the day, but um, I'm up a little bit further up the river today from yesterday. If you want to have a catch up on everything that's been happening over the last two or three days, then uh, there are video vlogs about those right here on this channel. Today has been day two of the Iberian Masters, uh, and my rotation has meant that I'm a little bit further upstream from where I was yesterday. If you want to see how I went on yesterday down there, there is a, the previous video that gives you information about that. Now, this is just really a bit of a quick download from the bank side, because what I want to do is I want to upload tonight, I want to show you the tables, the positions of everyone within the, um, the competition so far. And I can only do that back at the hotel, and I can only do it after about 8, 8 p.m. once the results have actually been posted from, uh, from yesterday, which I can show you, and then obviously today or tonight, which will be obviously the positions going into the final day tomorrow. So that's really wanna, uh, I really wanna focus on, on this video for you. So apologies that this has been uploaded a little bit later than usual, and that's because obviously I've been waiting for the results so that I can get them published for you. So I'm up here on um, D13. This is the peg that I've been on today. I'll flick the camera around in a moment to show you, but um, I don't really want to dwell on it too much up here, but basically it's fished even harder than yesterday, if you can imagine that. Um, we don't know why, we've no idea. It has rained for about two and a half hours today. It was a little bit grim and a little bit miserable for quite a while. And, um, and you know, we've really been struggling for bites as well. So it's not, it wasn't very nice then, but I mean, it's settled down now. It is much better than it has been, but let me just uh, show you the peg. So this is me, D13. This is an area that I have fished, not so much in the last couple of years, but when I first fished here, the two or three times that I first came, this is where I tended to draw quite a bit. This is next to the bridge that I'm sure of you, some of you will rec recognize from previous um, films from this event. The end peg there, uh, obviously the angler's gone now, but end peg, which uh, it would have been, this is, yeah, 13, 12, 11, 10, uh, down there, used to be a flyer, but that's because, if you can see, there are two bridges together. They, they didn't use to peg in between those two bridges. Um, so this peg just here was an end peg and it used to be a flyer. However, that's not the case. The pegs go right the way through. So it's very much just a normal peg. So there's the swim. Anyway, obviously very, very uniform, but that's what this river is. Um, it's about 42 metres to that other bank. Just show you the features. Some big, big overhangs over there within my swim, as you can see. There's some greenery there where I could get tight in, but it has been quite rocky over there some big overhangs and then as you get further up to the left there are even more overhangs and stuff um, but other than that all the kit and everything's been the same so if you want to catch up on all those they are the same you know the same rods and everything that I've been using um, and going down to the right that's just where it goes into a bend and then right down to where I was yesterday I was down there um, so that's basically the swim it's very uniform the depth and everything so um, yeah, that's just to give you an idea of what today's peg's been like. So I can't trim it up in any way and give you loads of rundown on, on the way that it's fished and everything because it's been absolutely rock hard, even harder than yesterday. And um, you know, most anglers in this section haven't had a bite or they haven't weighed in. So I'm assuming they haven't had a bite. I wouldn't imagine that they've lost fish, but um, it's been incredibly difficult. So I don't really feel there's much need to talk about tactics and things because you know, I just haven't caught any fish out there. I've ended up with some very, very small fish. And if the result is confirmed, which I'm pretty sure it is, it looks like that my 70 grams um, is gonna get me fifth in the 18 peg section, which is incredible. Um, it looks like that's what's gonna happen. They are paying out the top five in each 18, I think it's 18 peg section, the top five. So, you know, I will have some payout to come, but obviously more importantly, if that is the case, then that's five points to go with my two points from yesterday, which will put me on a seven point total, which to be fair, you know, it's not, by any means, it's not a score that could give me a chance of winning it going into tomorrow, not unless, you know, one or two of the leaders um, have suffered blanks and have a major blowout, but obviously seven points going into the final day, 
gives me a, a great chance of framing. So uh, that's about it. I can't really talk too much about tactics because there, are, you know, there isn't really anything really to talk about um, because there's just been so little action. So I'd rather focus on the actual facts of the results because I know that's what a lot of you are interested to see. You can see how the other anglers have been, you know, how they're getting on and what the position and what the standings are going to be tonight which is um, the second night going into the final day tomorrow, just so you can see um, who's in the running going into tomorrow. So I'm going to get the rest of this gear packed away. Dad's up there. He's been in the car today, nice and warm. I'm going to get my gear in there, get back to the hotel, and um, I'll next check in with you when I'm in front of the results board so that I can show you the full rundown of the competition and all the standings so far. So it's been a bit of a late one tonight. I do apologise. Obviously, you know, at the current time of filming, it's just gone nine o'clock here in Spain. We're just about to go into there, into the presentation room for today's payout. But I will get this video, I'll stop uploading this straight away for you. If not, obviously you can do it all tomorrow on Sunday. Tomorrow is the main pre presentation. It's the end of the competition and I will be uploading for you tomorrow evening so that you get a full rundown on what's happened and uh, who the winners are and uh, any interesting points about what happens tomorrow so i'm gonna get this video uploaded for you once again thank you so much for all the uh, continued support all the thumbs up all the new subscribers thank you for this don't forget this is not a one-off competition if you want to see things like this vlogs like this from future competitions through through all of this year then please subscribe let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up so i hope you enjoy the rest of your evening Apologies about the late upload, but I wanted to show you those so you've got some exact facts and figures. So I look forward to checking in with you tomorrow.